Hey there, so today we have another review and this is a beer from Firestone Walker. This is 2017 Bravo, so this is really special. First thing you might notice is that this is coming in in 12 ounces. So Firestone Walker has decided to do now 12 ounce bottles instead of 22 ounce bombers, which I think is great, much more manageable of a volume. So post in the comments below what you think about that. And speaking about this beer, this is the first time it's being bo uh, bottled. This is Bravo. Their Imperial Brown Ale coming at 13.2%. Uh, this beer was brewed, I believe, around 10 years ago and used in their anniversary series, which they blend a bunch of the uh, anniversary beers like Parabola, Hell Dorado, uh, Sukaba, and this was included, but never actually bottled. So this is finally bottled. So uh, new format, new beer in bottles. Let's dig in. So the beer comes in a in the light. You get this beautiful kind of deep ruby kind of color um, out of the light sort of has this light brown color deep ruby very nice looking um, just like you know a little bit of garnet sitting in the edges let's get the aroma on this one mm. you get um, a nice sweetness there there's a depth of malt character toasty notes throughout um, there is bourbon there's some like raisin and cherry a little bit of like toasted oak and coconut notes but yeah, it smells a little, little bit fruity, just lots of malt driving behind it, a little bit of caramel. Cheers. Mm, wow. Okay. Huh. So there is a sharp amount of alcohol in this one. The bourbon very much shows up on the palate. Uh, it's surrounded by some nice oak toasted qualities as well, but it is uh, bourbony up front throughout the palate. It sort of lingers on the way down. It sort of uh, shows itself as a... 13.2% beer is very big. But underneath it is a really beautiful depth of Maillard reaction, toasty qualities. They even say it on the uh, on the box. It says rich, toasty, and chocolate malt flavors. A little bit of chocolate uh, kind of flavors, mostly leaning on a lot of toasty flavors. Um, for me, this is a really good beer to show off um, malt flavors versus sweetness. There's a really wonderful depth of malt that sort of reminds you of a Doppelbach, of a bourbon barrel-aged Doppelbach. Um, so you're maybe getting some notes, maybe leaning towards English barley wine, but it's not quite as sweet. There's not that much sweetness to show off that, you know, rich, deep, deep caramelly kind of flavor um, and like some brown sugar and, and, and dark fruits. This one has a good amount of dark fruit flavor, but really it's supported by this really rich toasted depth of malt flavor. In the end, the grain bills probably are relatively similar to this Imperial Brown Ale compared to um, their English barley wine, bourbon barrel aged Sukaba. But yeah, um, it, it lingers with a lot of like crust, um, you know, toasted bread crust, Maillard reaction going on for days, lots of just like multi flavors uh, uh, going throughout. There is a little bit of dark fruit, I was saying, some cherry flavor as well. But it, and then there is a nice kind of tannic kind of oak quality that help dry out the beer along with that alcohol, just finishing the beer out. Uh, mouthfeel ends up a little thin-ish for uh, such a big beer, medium to medium plus. Medium plus. But it is a little fleeting. And again, without that rich residual sweetness, it really doesn't show on the palate too much. You really move on to a good amount of like the bourbon cutting into the mouthfeel, and then just supported by mostly that kind of toasted, rich malt character. Uh, really nice beer, though, but I c can certainly see why this beer is a blending beer more than a beer that stands by itself. I also can see this beer being really well aged. So if you grab a couple bottles, age one, see how it develops. As for rating, I'm giving this a very nice beer, though. Let's give this a 92. 92. This is Firestone Walker Bravo. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Later. Let me know what you think.